so today we are going to learn about space regainers space regainers are appliances that are used to regain the space loss caused by early loss of primary molar and failure to use space maintainers so failure to use space maintainers leads to reduction in arch length by mesial movement of the permanent first molar space can be regained by dislizing that mesially moved permanent first molar that will enhance the and cause a normal eruption of the permanent tooth beneath it the succedaneous premolar so space regainers are active appliances that cause movement of teeth unlike space maintainers that are inactive or passive appliances the space regainers have active components like springs and screws the springs and screws can cause movement desired movement so there can be two types of space regainers first is fixed fixed the examples are gerber open coil space regainer and hotz lingual arch example of removable space regainers are jack screw type split saddle type cantilever type so fixed space regainer uh, does not depend on patient compliance it is fixed patient cannot remove it at will removable will totally depend on the patient compliance and how long the patient wears it so removable appliances are dependent on patient compliance this is the first uh, fixed space regainer it is called gerber space regainer this has a u tube a hollow u tube and a solid u shaped rod the rod is inserted into the tube with activated open coil spring at the free ends of the rod the open coil spring is compressed activated and placed so that it will open up and cause dislization of the molar so open coil spring is a nitide eye spring that opens up the space causes dislization of the molar so in the assembly we have two bands that are placed on the molars on one side a u rod is shouldered and another side the hollow u shaped tube is shouldered the u shaped rod is placed inside the uh, the rod is placed inside the tube with an activated open coil spring that's how the gerber space regainer works and it causes dislization of the molar causing space regaining the next one is open coil space regainer it is more easy to fabricate we don't need any special tubes and rods it is basically a band and loop with activated open coil spring so it is used more by the clinicians because it is easier to fabricate two molar tubes have to be placed on buccal and lingual side of the molar band a loop is fabricated with two stops that are made on the mesial end of the um, loop by shoulder material now open coil spring is activated and incorporated on the loop to dislize the molar the second appliance is a lingual arch that is attached with a open coil space regainer so mechanism is same for both the open coil spring is uh, compressed and incorporated on the loop side so that it will open up the space next we have hotz lingual arch the passive lingual arch is a space maintainer so when we incorporate two u loops for activation in the lingual arch it becomes hotz lingual arch we can activate the u loop and it will cause dislization of the molars it is indicated when mandibular first permanent molar has drifted mesially but the premolar or canines have not drifted distally so it will cause dislization of the molar next fixed appliance for space regaining is lip bumper we all know lip bumper is a habit breaking appliance given for lip habits like lip biting lip sucking so renfro in 1956 reported that lip bumper could generate sufficient force to cause molar dislization this is made of a 0.045 inch stainless steel wire that spans facially without contacting the anterior teeth an acrylic shield is placed anteriorly so forces from the hyperactive mentalis muscles are transferred to the molars leading to dislization coming to the removable type of space regainer first we have the jack screw type removable space regainer jack screw is incorporated in the split acrylic plate and adams clasps are clasps are placed for retention so there are three adams clasps for retention the acrylic plate is split and 
in the split we place the jack screw now when the jack screw is activated there is digitalization of molar and we can regain the uh, lo uh, lost space coming to the next one we have uh, incorporated in uh, two finger spring in this appliance Sing simple finger springs can be used for movement of molars here when we activate the finger spring we open the coil the helix there will be um, digitalization of the molar the next removable appliance is split saddle space regainer so this is formed with a 0.028 inch wire acrylic plate is made in two segments so it can regain up to 2 mm of space there is a spring that is placed between the split acrylic plate now the spring is activated and there is digitalization of molar acrylic and there will be space regaining so the space that is lost because of not placing a space maintainer in early loss of a primary molar that can be regained by the space maintainers to facilitate normal eruption of a succedinous premolar.